Genesis 2. The Creation of Man and Woman. So the heavens and the earth were completed, and all their hosts, inhabitants. And by the seventh day God completed his work which he had done, and he rested, ceased, on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, as his own, that is, set it apart as holy from other days, because in it he rested from all his work which he had created and done. This is the history of, the origin of, the heavens and of the earth when they were created, in the day, that is, days of creation, that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, no shrub or plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprouted, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth, and there was no man to cultivate the ground, but a mist, fog, dew, vapor, used to rise from the land and water the entire surface of the ground, then the Lord God formed, that is, created the body of, man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being, an individual complete in body and spirit. And the Lord God planted a garden, oasis, in the east, in Eden, delight, land of happiness, and he put the man whom he had formed, created, there. And, in that garden, the Lord God caused to grow from the ground every tree that is desirable and pleasing to the sight and good, suitable, pleasant, for food, the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the experiential knowledge, recognition, of the difference between good and evil. Now a river flowed out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it divided and became four branching rivers. The first river is named Pishon, it flows around the entire land of Havilah, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good, delium, a fragrant, valuable resin, and the onyx stone are found there. The name of the second river is Gion, it flows around the entire land of Cush, in Mesopotamia. The third river is named Hittical, Tigris, it flows east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. So the Lord God took the man he had made, and settled him in the Garden of Eden, to cultivate and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may freely, unconditionally, eat, the fruit, from every tree of the garden, but, only, from the tree of the knowledge, recognition, of good and evil you shall not eat, otherwise on the day that you eat from it, you shall most certainly die, because of your disobedience. Now the Lord God said, It is not good, beneficial, for the man to be alone, I will make him a helper, one who balances him, a counterpart who is suitable and complementary for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground every animal of the field and every bird of the air, and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them, and whatever the man called a living creature, that was its name. And the man gave names to all the livestock, and to the birds of the air, and to every animal of the field, but for Adam there was not found a helper that was suitable, a companion, for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and while he slept, he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh at that place. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man he made, fashioned, formed, into a woman, and he brought her and presented her to the man. Then Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. For this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked, and were not ashamed or embarrassed.